Today we'll be looking at the concentric slave cylinder spacer installation and bleeding procedure for vehicles fitted with the Holden LFX V6 and a heavy duty clutch kit. Remove the bolt securing the clutch hard line in place on the gearbox. Using a flathead screwdriver, pry the retaining clip holding the hard line up. Drop the hard line down and remove the retaining clip. You can now remove the hard line adapter from the concentric slave cylinder. Carefully remove the three bolts holding the concentric slave cylinder in place and remove this from the transmission. Thoroughly clean out the bell housing, ensuring that the concentric slave cylinder mounting surface is clean and free of any burrs or contaminants. Fit the new spacer onto the transmission and then install the new concentric slave cylinder in place over the spacer. Ensure the bolts are done up to 30 newton meters and remember to use thread lock. After placing the included spacer behind the mount, bolt the concentric slave cylinder pipe support to the mount using thread lock. Clip the hard line back into place on the new concentric slave cylinder. Flip the hard line back into place and reinstall the bolt to support this line on the bell housing. In order to successfully remove air from the concentric slave cylinder in this application, it is helpful to reverse bleed the system before using conventional clutch bleeding techniques to force fluid into the cylinder. Using a reverse bleeder, pump clutch fluid up from the slave cylinder to the master cylinder until the reservoir is full, then lock off the bleeder valve. By hand, slowly pump the clutch pedal to induce the clutch fluid into the slave cylinder. You can now bleed the system using conventional clutch bleeding techniques, making sure to check the reservoir level at all times.